I think the mass mandate removal um, is a mistake, my personal opinion, because you have to have a baseline if you're going to start somewhere to try to to uh, uh, defeat this epidemic. Democrats have concerns about the school mask mandate. The 11 year olds and under, they have no protection, none whatsoever. Republicans have their own different concerns. Parents have taken on the responsibility of educating their children. They are bearing that financial burden. Uh, some of them have sent their kids to private school. And to continue to send that money to the public school uh, for no other reason than just to make sure that they're, that they're sustainable into the long term doesn't make sense to me. House Bill 1 would stabilize funding for school districts despite drops in in-person attendance during the pandemic. It would give school districts 20 days of remote learning to help fight COVID-19 outbreaks in schools, and it would temporarily loosen hiring rules for schools facing a severe staffing shortage. But it didn't pass its first committee hearing. Oh, I knew it wasn't going to pass out of committee. Um, there, nobody... No one is willing to give an inch. Everybody wants everything that they want. The, the bill's Republican sponsor says she's not giving up. We're going to lose if we mandate masks. We're going to lose in, in, on our side. So we're going to have to figure out something that makes it palatable for both ends. Now, it didn't go like this all day. There were plenty of other bills that passed out of committee easily. One of them was House Bill 5. That provides $350 million in forgivable loans for some major, major projects that are coming down the line. Uh, Governor Bashir's administration says they want something to take to the negotiating table to entice those potential employers. Live in Frankfurt, Mark Vanderoff, WLKY News.